guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, uh, just to give you an update on how things are going, if we go down here, I've got two farms going, I've got the tree farm going, and I've done what I've said I would do, I would put the planter from MFR underneath here, and that's allowing me to grow the huge trees. Um, unfortunately, I can't get the apple trees from, uh, what's he, uh, Biomes of Plenty? Yeah, biomes are plenty to work, so I can't exactly just, you know, mass produce apples. I would, I would have to get golems to come out here and, like, use on it. I think I will end up doing that, but um, for now, this will do. And so, let me show you the underside. Uh, okay. So, this is where I have all the transfer um, flickers are, and... There's the planter, I got a little setup for power and my usual program for powering it. Also over here, well there's the other f transfer flicker, I needed two of them. Part of the reason why I haven't shown all this is because I was figuring all that out, all the transfer flickers and stuff, because they are complicated as hell. Um, uh, not as complicated as the item ducks, uh, not item ducks, the item conduits from Ender.io, but um, complicated it in their own ways to get them to work in a similar fashion. So they do have the options, priorities, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I've got going on here. I've got uh, them all going into barrels, a couple of void barrels. I've got these two turning it into uh, charcoal and resupplying some Vintium in back into this. And so like, yeah, it's completely stable. It'll cut down a humongous tree in a split instant. And this is what I need on my other modded, but I don't have Ars Magica because of Rotary Craft. Uh, if you haven't guessed, I'm not really fond of Rotary Craft because of their anti, uh, anti-friendliness to other mods. Come on, show me a big tree so I can see it cut. Yeah, there. Instantly. Gone. Gone. Okay, and um, yeah, so I don't really need sprinklers or anything. It's keeping the barrels full. I cannot keep up with it with the calfactors. So I'm going to have to find another use for these. Uh, in the meantime, though, over here, I got two farms. I got this one set up to mine crops that I need in the future, most likely. So, like, all the witchery stuff. Um, I had it doing the mandrake and the artichoke, but uh, the artichoke it does not seem to be replantable with turtles. Uh, but the mandrake, uh, the problem with that is, you know, the, you get the guy running around and stuff, so I probably need to set up, like, pneumatocraft or thumbcraft golem to go around and kill him before I can set that up properly. In the meantime, I'm getting him to do carrots and potatoes. And the carrots I've set up a lot of because I want to set up uh, the glowstone duplication thing so I can do some en painted ender IO stuff. Um, but yeah, so these are going very well. I'm getting the lovely Gaishals, the golden ones, every now and then. Uh, the only thing is with the Gaishals, I had to actually get them to go into a crafter that's below there come back out and go to this turtle and this turtle is like every time that turtle goes round and comes back this turtle puts out another six so he can pick them up and this is all being hydrated and um, and sped up by these two habitats so this one has the nature's bounty and the one below it has the water flicker jar so mm, I can't remember if this one speeds it up or that one. No, this one hydrates it. And this one is increases the growth rate. So basically, it's kind of like spraying um, that water bucket all over this area. Okay, and it's in a six by six. So, um, well, six radius from here. It's a six, a six cubed. So it's like a. It's 13 by 13 by 13. Okay, so these two areas are included. I'm going to have to figure out what to plant there. Uh, one of the things I was looking at was the Thormic Tinkerer. Where's the plants? There's infused seeds with that, so I'm thinking of, like, that's perfectly six right there. So I'm thinking of using this area for that and who knows uh, some other mod or something pans harvest or 
I don't know, I think I'll use up that area as well. Depends what I'm after. Am I, if I'm after just something that uh, gives me uh, more stuff for Thorncraft, then um, I'll just use it up for that. Um, who knows, like, it'll be a while before I get the uh, Marta Bean farm going, and even then it won't be anything new, so I won't bother really showing that off. Uh, what was I doing? Um, what I was thinking of doing is a few things. First of all, I've placed in some stairs down here to go down. Okay, and uh, what I plan on doing with that is uh, making it so there's like a button up here or something, and the stairs will just unfold down. Basically, uh, all there will be here is a flat area. And if you got the right keystone, you hit this block, it will let you in. So, um, the reason why I want that is because I'm going to make all this down here a storage area. Now, the reason I got all this down here is because I was clearing it out with the Flatlands uh, Flicker Habitats. i got to say, it took a little while, but you know what? It did a good job, and it's given me a few ideas on how to um, make a quarry out of them with turtles. So, like, you get a turtle, you get a vacuum hopper underneath the turtle, and, like, he just goes down by five blocks every time. And whenever there's um, no blocks to pick up, um, he will just break the habitat, he'll keep... Um, wait, he'll empty the habitat, he'll break it, he'll go down five blocks, okay, um, then place the habitat, fill, put the flatlands in there, then place a vacuum hopper underneath him, or something like that, and... That will, or, you know what, actually bottom to top, because the items will fall past him, won't actually go into the vacuum hopper, because they'll, yeah, you get what I'm saying, I've got an idea on how to make that into a thing. <laughs> uh, I'll have to look into that, because I'm, the quarry for, uh, what's the, for Ars Magica, it's great and everything, but the only problem with that is, it, what if it falls into lava? Yeah, you don't want it falling into lava. So, uh, what I gotta look into now is, I wanna make a few spells, and I wanna make uh, the spells for the purpose of beating a couple of the bosses. Now, the bosses I've unlocked at the moment, okay, because I want a few green ones, I want a few red ones. Um, for some reason, this has all gone dark. I don't know why. Mobs, bosses, okay. So, there's the uh, Air Guardian, so I'm going to have to make some slow fall stuff, or make a jetpack or something. I got a jetpack with uh, Thormcraft, so. I think I'll set that up. Uh, what level does it recommend? 35, so I'm on 36. Alright. And there's also... I don't want the Earth Guardian. I've already done uh, the Water Guardian. Uh, I need to make make a spell of entanglement on the ground so just like a zone area effect entanglement uh the ender guardian definitely not that is that is the one you don't mess around with that one in the fire demon okay so that's the fire guardian what level does it say 90 so yeah definitely not gonna hit that up what was the other ones so then we have the Life Guardian, and the Life Guardian recommended level 50. Okay. Oh. Alright, maybe, but I'll have to kill a villager child, which means I'd have to breed him or something. Yeah, um... Not my thing. The Lightning Guardian is new. I have not seen this one. Okay, so... Uh, level 70? I don't think so. So that one's one of the red ones. The Nature Guardian... Is there a red or a green? I think it was a red. Hmm. 
Recommended level 60. I've taken this on without being level 60. And it has... It, it did some serious damage. There was no way... Mm. I can... I can beat it. What I was thinking of doing was... Um, setting up like a zone spell with uh, entanglement and fire. Okay, so I just spell that down and leave it there and stuff. Uh, there's also the Winter Guardian, so that one's also a good one for the anti-fire. No, the fire zone thing. So this one is is red, but it does not give a level. And I've fought this one before as well. But here's the thing, I fought it on the... Test pack, please ignore server. And the test pack, please ignore server, we had blood magic on there. So what I did was, I used the runes of binding to keep it in place. Or well, not the runes of binding, the, um... Wait, that might be actually what it's called, I can't remember. But, like, uh, you, you do the ritual, and the, um, the ritual would keep them in place. Like, you could put these guys on a shelf. It was that, that they were that harmless afterwards. Ah, uh, so, um, hmm. What I'm thinking of doing as well is maybe getting a few, uh, a few Thorncraft wands and, uh, Foci before then as well. That way I got a backup source of power. Alright, so, uh, let's have a look at making that entanglement spell. So that zone, uh, I need, let's grab... You know, let's grab nine, so I could probably make a few spells. Right, guys, so uh, what I'm going to be doing is making a few different spells. What I'm thinking of is zone, area effect. Oh, wait, sorry. No, no, no. Uh, projectile, uh, zone, area effect. Uh, where is it? Entangle. And fire? No, no, lightning. Alright, so I'm gonna be getting a few blue orbs first, um, getting some debuffs in there, and just uh, using this against the water boss. And the water boss I can summon pretty easily now, so let's grab. Uh, what are we calling this? Uh, There we light ning one. Okay, grab that. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna have to grab some resources for this. Link room, Vintim Dust, Arrow Snowballs, Moonstone, Sunstone, Diamond, Air Essence. Oh Air Essence. Ooh. We um, where's my Tama roots? I got some somewhere. Ah, good. Hey guys, so I got the spell all ready to go. Um, yep, all the items, I think. Double check, yep, I think so. Right, so what I do... Right. Q, Ventium, Arrow, Snowball, Tama root, Moonstone, Sunstone, Diamond, Moonstone, Air Essence, okay, flip the lever, TNT, Green Rune, Vines, Slime Ball, Yellow Rune, Iron, Stick, Vintium Dust, Spell. Alright, I, I was going slow because I, I was looking out of the corner of my eye going, where's the Vintium Dust coming in? Alright, so area effect lightning one, and what we're gonna call this puss, 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 puss. He's sniffing my cup. I don't want to exchange spit with my cat. Ew. Alright, so where is... Uh-oh. 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's set it up as a green medium lightning. And how much mana cost? 500. You know what? That's not bad, actually, for what it is. All right, so I'm going to need a victim. All right, let's, uh, let's try it out on the uh, Water Guardian. So it started raining just now. One, two, three. Uh, I need a boat. And... Got to do this quick so I don't run out of time. Alright. Fuck it. And let's get moving. Alright. It's for me to get over there. It's just as simple as doing this. Then this. And... Then this. Because it keeps, on, it, keeps it in order of what you built. Alright, so, uh, let's, uh, fill you up. Okay, an almighty warrior guardian! Run! Right, so, uh, this one? Yep, it's doing damage, it's doing quite a bit of damage too. It's holding him in place to for him to keep on taking that damage because I had a problem with that before. Oh, this has made it piss weak. Piss easy! Ho oh, ho ho! Nice! What did I get hit by? Oh, I got hit by my own entanglement spell. Okay, so water orb. Beautiful. I can't get out of the water. <laughs> I've also been hit with drowning. Okay, and that should just tip me over. No, it hasn't tipped me over for the stuff yet. Yeah, and I got all the mage armor stuff. Right, so I still can't move. Ah, because it was a zone spell, that's why. Eh, it lasts a little bit longer than usual. Okay. Right, so I'm going to just spam that boss a few times. Get enough blue orbs to last me the rest of my life. And, um, uh, yeah, so I need all the iron I have left. And I'm running low on iron and stuff at the moment, so I better get move on with these other bosses, get some, get some red spell points and stuff like that. Um, is that it? Yep. 20 buckets, let's do 10. And so how many do I need to finish them off? One. Two. I wish there was a way I could zoom out. Three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, So 13. Alright, let's make another three buckets and hopefully I will finish that off then. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, it finished raining before I got a chance to finish all that. So, what am I to do about that? Uh, I don't have the bottle with me. I, I know a way of making it rain by absorbing the weather with evil craft. So, uh... Thunderstruck? No, I don't want Thunderstruck. That will that'll make things horrible. Alright, so let's grab that. Alright. And not too far away from my Ars Magica base here. Where is it? There it is. 
Okay, so Evil Craft, it's got a way of changing the weather. It's pretty much you put the weather in a bottle. And... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, and whenever you just throw the bottle on the ground, it will instantly change the weather. However, if you put the we weather in here, a bottle in here, it will absorb it and it will change it to the opposite. Which I reckon is kind of cheaty. It kind of uh, defeats the purpose of putting it in a bottle. Uh... Oops. Right, so there, you, there you go. I've made it rain again, and all it mean, all that means is I have to just use the gateway to get back there. So if I'm considering taking on the air guardian now, I'm gonna need to look into getting some more armor on these. Um. Okay, so let's see if I can get small slow fall boots or something. So where's my uh I had the Did I have a journal? Yes, I had a journal and there was my um thing. Alright, so I just hold shift for this and this will give me all the experience that I've put into it back. So I had about 32 experience when I've put it in and considering I beat a few bosses this should be a little bit more. You know what, let's uh, put it on 30 exactly so I can get the max enchant on this and then bring it back. Right, so Magic resistance 3, protection 3, un unusing 1, unusing, what is unusing, I'm gonna have to look, my view just changed, hey guys how's it going, so, so in pre pre preparation with the, um, getting it on with the air guardian, we're gonna quickly make the, 10 heart canisters, because honestly, when I get hit, it's too quick to die. Either I'm too quick to die, or not quick enough. Uh, can I... Because I got the uh, Traveler's thing on. Yep, I just right-click it in. Um, yeah, because I, I'm using the Campers, the campers mod, it's uh, melding my inventory. That's why I got all that happening. Uh, where... Would it show my heart's uh, equipment? Here it goes. All right, so a bunch like this. Ten of them, that gives me a lot of health. How do I set it up so I can't exactly... Well, if I got the broom, it'd be a good way to test. And then on top of that, uh, what does it say about his weakness? I was pretty sure there was a weakness to him. Uh, bosses, air guardian. Okay, finish some of the spells. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Falling protection, battle of one, attack based attacks. So it doesn't actually say what his weakness is. Oh, which part am I in? Uh, over there. Oh, and I've built a ticker's construct thing here. Uh, basically, yeah, it separates out all the different uh, types here, and I've been making a lot of seed bricks for a massive one. But, uh, oh, I had a red one there. Um, pretty much, this, it separates all the different uh, ores into their things. Um, not all the ores, but like cobalt and stuff that you usually use to make weapons and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to fill all these up. Um... Aluminum brass, manilium, ardite, and what was in this one? That one's the seared brick one at the moment. I might switch that one over. Um, I might fix up some alamite or something in there. Uh, really, though, I usually just stick with, um, for swords, manilium, with uh, paper everything. And I got a sword here. Uh-oh. What happened to my sword? Oh, it's pe it's, it's getting powered up. Yeah, so what I do is I usually fix it up with everything paper except for the blade and just put up as, as much um, 
as much uh, a power upgrade, uh, as many upgrades as I can put on there because they're w worth more than everything else on it. So uh, I have that one, um, but the bosses ha tend to have more armor than uh, more armor th than it's worth. So this one, even though it does twenty one attack, will not be useful. I need to have the piercing one, which is the rapier. So I've got a blade, yep, the minium sword blade. Uh, what was the rapier's handle? So, that's the rapier? Yep, okay. So I should, I should have everything for that, because I actually made one before, and it went missing somewhere, I don't know where. Um, yep. So I make the rest of it out of paper, and... Where is the handle? No, 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 that's tough. That's the other one. There we go. I gotta take the extra paper out. The good thing about paper, you can put it back together and just keep it there for next time. Right, so where's the blade? So this one's more, more likely to go through his armor. Now, what I was also considering was making a crossbow. Those bolts that fight on a trigger reduced reload time with harder materials. Uh, it performs worse with light hours. Um, I thought it had piercing. Maybe I'll have to look it up. Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna give this a go. Uh, yeah, I got in. Basically, from what I understand, it's this golden ring over here, and air essence. Now, we're going to try to see if the broom, um, if I can be knocked off the broom or not. Who knows? Uh, okay. Is he charging up his attack or something? I know there's a charge attack, and... Let's fly around, dodge the attacks. Well, I'm getting hit, but I'm not getting knocked off my broom. I know that uh, he has a chance of knocking off my armor. Come on. Bring it. You better drop. Uh, he didn't drop any more air since. Son of a bitch. Ah. <sighs> I got this thing now. Looks a lot like a broom. Except. Yeah, all except it doesn't quite. So, if I use this green skill point, I have another one.